All right, uh, let's switch to Peter and do some missions for him. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Guys, you're kind of getting sand everywhere! You guys should really leave and go somewhere more tropical! Okay, this takes care of all of them. Should probably check out that crystal now. It's my turn to follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco must have felt so alone during all this. His back against the wall? I can relate. Over here. Yeah, I'm really stuck on landing with that one. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. Okay, that thing is actually pretty cute. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man, thank you. Hey, Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. My pulse blast then. Anyone? I can't move. Help! Hang on. I'll get you out of there. <sighs> Thank you. Help's coming. Fire and Rescue knows where you are, and they'll be here soon. You're going to be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Clark, you should be getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. I'll get you out. One sec. 
Fire and rescue's on the way. Just try not to move. They'll have you out of here soon. Okay. Uh, thank you, Spider-Man. Looks like I need to go up. So it's field testing time for my latest upgrade. My insurance better cover this or I swear. Wait, where am I going? I thought I had to climb that pipe, but that's obviously not the right way. Oh, over here. Spider-Bot uses compressed air to, to power its jumps when the air supply is... Yeah, no. Okay, I got that. Hey, Clark, did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. Set a new location your way, but this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? You're not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Hmm. I'm not seeing anyone else yet. Stuck. Uh, yeah, no, I'm stuck. All right, we're we'll at the restart. Okay, at least it restarted me back here. Recognize 
Come on. What about the intruder that's been skulking around? They can't stop all of us. Now keep looking for supplies. We'll need them in the days ahead. Ah. Uh... to the police never never even mentioned the flame i just i just wanted out then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in painfully Eventually. Prophecy? Oh man, I've always wanted to be in one of those! Not crazy about the nickname, though! Do you think you're worthy? So, what's my prophecy? Endless fighting? Death by building? Grow four arms and become a giant man spider? To burn with the rest of the unworthy! That's it? Oh, okay. This world where you can, Spider-Man! Ooh, okay, she got projectiles. Did anyone else hear that? Take this outside! Is everyone okay? Besides me knocking you out, obviously? We are better than you ever will be. This is all part of the prophecy! Who are you people? The only ones worthy enough to survive what's coming! Webbing embers! Finish him off before the police get here! Pretty sure this building is gonna fall apart before that! Okay, take out the guys with the guns first. Got it. Is everyone okay? Besides me knocking you out, obviously? We are better than you ever will be. He's still <laughs> You people! The only ones worthy enough to survive what's coming! Finish him off before the police get here! Pretty sure this building is gonna fall apart before then! Get down here! All right, that should be the last one. The cop from the last one? What was her name? Yuri? Thanks. So what's your deal? There you are. Yeah, 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 hey. it's her. You never did like my smoking. Yuri. Low lives call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried. Where have you been? No 
no time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her. And the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. Saying Crystal has my name all over it. I find them, and they're waiting for me with all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? Waiting for them with weapons? They knew who they were dealing with. was. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place right dad went a little more over the top than i would have liked how did you got things set up while i was still undergoing treatment but when i got out i made a few changes like what diverted my salary into research projects installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track and made sure all research aligned with our mission to heal the world first i want you to meet dr young who's a leading entomologist you know what entomology is yeah Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine, who may I ask is calling? Oh, of course, put him through. Dr. Milligan. That data does not 
to tabulate with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? A reminder that the Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep! with my bees uh, I don't see any more oh here we go coming for you bee wolf gotta protect the hive nice in practice each bee wolf we can eliminate will save the lives of hundreds of bees Job. Bee patrol on duty. Gotcha! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't get what what Peter's hold up now, is. I would have been right on board with this right away. We're doing cutting edge proton I mean, one, we need a job. Two, this is seemingly doing good work. Targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Oh, Connors. Lizard. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. Hold up, I wanna go talk to the lizard again. That was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Where'd he go? So much to see here. Where do I even start? What am I looking at?
Okay, can't go in there. Can't talk to any of these people. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and spreads. The Emily Mayfair Station has discovered... Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? <sighs> Gotta think this through before signing on. I mean, that's easy. Just tell your business partner that you're Spider-Man. Oh, what's this? Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Okay, I can only move the right arm. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so if I press down on the left thumbstick, the left arm flexes his hand. But I can't move it around, but I can move the right one around. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Did you do the XRF analysis? Uh, what if I needed a higher The origins of life on Earth were made a mystery. I mean, Practical organic life forms have arisen from non biological chemical compounds. Recent discoveries of meteorites contain organic life. Well, I don't suppose that's an option. Excuse me. Is there anything over here? Shouldn't keep Harry waiting. Have you been out to the Hudson Valley facility? Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra efficient batteries charged by bicycles. These bikes, can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Okay, that'll be a mini game we could do later. What was this? You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Job. Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back, even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Please. Now, do you know the? Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. 
about genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Okay, my hey, controller is vibrating. Around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Is that the spidey sense activating? Oh, is something about to, to happen? It's seriously one okay, of the now it's done. spots in the whole building. Hold up. So calming and that we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. So I ran the closer I get to this room. Why? But I booked a vacation anyway. Have to get out of this city and hit a beach. Oh, okay. It's like a music room or something. I don't know. I need relaxing sand, not stressful sand. This way, dude. Rhythm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Chop chop. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, we need someone to come back and check the humidity sensor. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. All right, that worked. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course.
Okay, uh... I think I had it right with putting you here. And you right there. And water... No, 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 that won't work. Hmm. Close. Oh wait, right here. There we go. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. OK. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. <laughs> Go ahead. Swipe. I really think we need more security. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. 
Wait, are those, are those not his web shooters on his wrist right now? Not really hiding the whole Spider-Man thing. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> 